Now, we haven't received any valuable information from your organization. Come on now, and it's been going on 14 months. <sighs> Listen, the FBI done sent James, Tasha, Henry to help combat this credit card loss, and we still at ground zero? Can you tell me something, please? Terry, that can't be right. What you mean it can't be? I'm looking at it. I've signed off at least three reports in the last six weeks. Brain really has mined the data on the ACH fraud piece. Where is the reports? I sent all that information in by the deadline. No, no, no. Listen, if the bank can't take control of this situation, the FBI, the FTC, they have to take full control over this thing. Do y'all understand? Yes. Damn, it's like the world revolves around you and your screwed up childhood. Excuse me? You heard me. You're cold-hearted, you're miserable. That's why you quit the lead of Boston. Ever since your grandma died, there's not one person here, nobody, that you give a damn about. Elizabeth, you're just upset. I'm moving to Boston because I know it'll be good for my business. You've always been like a sister to me. I was just being overprotective. But I wasn't wrong, as you can see. Save it. Enjoy my year. Rachel Barnes felt the same way and feared the pregnancy would pull Damien away. From Rachel's perspective, she and Damien are getting serious. Detectives are allowed to bring Rachel in for a second interview. They confronted her that, yeah, you're not telling her. Yes. Look, I didn't know he was going to kill her. He told her to just say I was with you all night. He told me he was going to Mariana to take care of some business. When I found out she was dead, I was afraid. I'd be next if I tell you the truth. When detectives ask about Keisha's pregnancy, Rachel's response isn't what they were. Oh my God, Damien, <laughs> what did you do? She denied. Have to keep in mind too, is she doing this because she fears? Women? 